Yay, sorry to me. Yeah. And remember, it's better to get better than get bitter. Because we're going to talk about some people getting bitter in a, mm. in, in a hot fucking minute. You may already be aware. Did you see... Uh, Gee, so you see a certain erectile dysfunction uh, aficionado have a have a bit of a little bit of a personal crisis and breakdown. Oh, no, oh hmm. dear! Somebody is not taking the the. See, I lost my Twitter on the same day, and you don't you don't see me, you don't see me like fucking uh, writing a book about it. But uh, yeah, somebody is taking their loss of Twitter very very hard. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, so I suppose we could just jump straight into that. I mean, here's here's my official response uh, response to it. There, Pondal. I'd have a sliver of sympathy for Josh if he hadn't maintained a personal animus for me for four years. Oh well, it appears life has slammed his penis in the car door yet again. <laughs> Was that too mean? Was I being too mean? No. <laughs> No, not at all. Not at all, Rand. Rand, j just look around you. Mm. I, I have to, I have to, gaps going around around us. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, funny enough, this is in response to Kershay, you know, the, the, the fox, you know, the, the lewd fox woman, uh, because she, she had opinions on uh, Josh's little meltdown. Now, because she's being, she's, she's being a little nicer, because uh, she, she uses the farms for research. Now, I think she, she's just sort of... <laughs> So apparently, like you don't need to be that big of a celebrity to be untouchable, e celebrity to be un to to be outside of the farm's reach. So you basically just need like more than three hundred people because uh, the farms is, the farms have become that irrelevant. Like nobody nobody really gives a fuck about the farms anymore, which I think is part of part of Josh's problem. But Kershaw uses the uh, uses the farms for information gathering, so they, she's trying to be nice to Josh here. I can understand feeling demoralized. Yeah, well, that's, uh, Josh deserves to be demoralized, Kershaw. You d you're just being too nice. Because uh, mm. here it is. Uh, here is, like, a fucking book written by Josh. <laughs> <laughs> now, bear in mind, he's only been off Twitter for, what, 48 hours? Well, I tell you what, you get these people right, Pond. You know, they 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 ride they ride really high, and then uh, you take one one little thing away from them, and all of this shit. Yeah, <laughs> all of a sudden, man. As I, as I said, man, I mean, I wasn't too pleased about losing my Twitter. I lost it the same day. I have not written a fucking novel about it. I mean, it, it really is irritating. It really is irritating going from you know having a one and a half thousand followers and and rising. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. back down to back down to like have to fucking start from scratch again. It's not the best, mm. but uh, there's no need for this. <laughs> Hello, Hyperborean. Hello. You here for the fun and games? This is a fucking Reddit post. Oh, it's, but it's a Reddit post on Kiwi Farms. What a novelty! Yes, we're ready so, for novelty. So, so same thing, but worse. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Shadow Broker, I see him in the Odyssey chat. Yeah, it looks like someone doesn't know the way the cookie crumbles. You know, some faggot keeps reply guying Jim over Pippa, trying to pedo jacket Pippa. What? Well, you know, like, did that guy, like, not fucking see... Like, I mean, it'd be pretty funny if, like, that's actually, like, a guy, like, trying to trying to do, like, a, you know, a fourth-dimensional chess move. Because, uh, remember the last time people tried to get Jimbo to do something? Mm-hmm. Remember the last time they were going like, hey, oh, come on, Jimbo, yeah, come on, you got to make fun of that fucking French-Canadian guy. And, uh, like, Jimbo just officially announces, I am never, ever going to do anything about JF Garapi. Why? Because you wouldn't stop fucking asking me. <laughs> like, that's not how it works. You can't bug Jim into doing stuff. <laughs> Jim oh. is a free bird, motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the only thing that's not free is his spine. Exactly. <laughs> that's on loan. <laughs> All right. Uh, <coughs> well, it says, I don't know anything about Pippa. I just assume the reply guy is wrong, says Shadow Broker. From what I, from what I understand, and I haven't looked too much into it. Sorry, I'm about to cough again. <coughs> They're doing the usual thing where they just go and they just go and quote someone out of context. Like, uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, not Godwinson. Who's that other? Who's that fucking retard? Oh, who's that retard? That really narrows it down. 
King of Pole. <laughs> Remember that time King of Pole, like King of Pole, like basically tried to do like an entire an entire gotcha about like uh, deliberately like clipping me out of context. And he, he tried to he tried to bust that on Gator. Hey, you're friends with this literal pedophile robot. Listen to this, and uh, Gator goes, "Just just play the full clip." Like I, I actually already have the full clip. I knew you were going to do this. Mm. And it's the, it's the one where I was, 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 was literally doing an imitation of Ralph. Uh, you know, like, oh, yeah, the one where I was like, I, I, was would, I would anally penetrate. You know, like, I, was doing, I was doing the Ralph thing. <laughs> and it's this fucking faggot well, then it just, must be real. Then yeah, eh? yeah. There's the faggot goes and clips it out of context. It was like, and then and then, and then Gator goes, I, I actually have the full clip. It's very obvious that that Rand was doing a parody of Ralph, and he's going, "No, no, no!" Don't. He's, he's called he's, your and, real voice. And, and the, what's the, he starts yelling at the moderator. He's the uh, King of Pole starts yelling at the moderator. Don't play that clip. Don't play that clip. And Gator's going like, "It's it's the clip you played. It's just the context with it." No, no, no! Don't play it. Don't play it. Why? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking retards. My uh, favorite bit. The whole, the, my favorite bit is that. Uh, Gator and I guess uh, some of the people were talking on post about that same clip, and I literally used that uh, like uh, post leak as the reason why I disavowed you, and like both Josh Moon and Ralph believed me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they, so they believe what they want to believe. They yeah. sure do. Well, let's uh, let's check in on what the the absolute current state of of what Josh Moon is believing right now. Uh, Are you gonna read this actually? Oh this fuck yeah! Scene. Fuck yeah! I'm gonna read this fucking shit. What? It, it, it ca- I get the Batman <laughs> voice like you did before. Oh no, Joker one. I didn't it was tell. a Joker one. <laughs> oh man, there's, there's too many words to do the Joker voice. Anyway, like. Mid, just, just do the Aussie voice. Well, the, the Joker, the Joker voice doesn't work because he's like, he's just, he's just, he's just a sad middle-aged man. My anger well, he doesn't, he is doesn't, from realization. He doesn't, he doesn't deserve a Joker voice. Right, my anger <laughs> is from the realization that the pendulum will never swing so far that I personally can benefit from it. So, so Josh Moon. That's right? a lie. Well, first of all, he does, he does personally benefit from it, like. Yes. I mean, shit. He only just did a fundraiser, which rose. Like, remember, he, he fundraised just just this month. He fundraised like six thousand dollars to to get his hands on uh, to get his hands on. Oh, I can't fucking crap. do that. Do you think I could fundraise six thousand dollars to get my hands on like some some like some some fucking drama shit? I mean, at the end of the day, right? Our interest in Nick Ricardo, while it was very funny, it was very funny to mm. watch Nick Ricardo self destruct. Let's face it, it's, 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 a, it's a novelty. Interest. It is a novelty kind of thing, and, like, life will go on whether or not we get the body cam footage of Nick Ricada. So if you're like, oh, I don't feel like I'm taken seriously enough, but, like, my nigga, like, you have built a thing to the point where people will hand over $6,000 for, for what is, like, novelty entertainment. Yeah, but I, well, we focus so heavily on Ricada to begin with. Hey, can you because guys you give called- me $6,000? I, I, I'll, I will provide novelty entertainment too. Can I have $6,000, please? Well, it really depends how much you're going to sell your soul for sentiment. <laughs> well, True. Uh, no, like- no, no, no's pretty heavily... He's, he's fucking... He's pretty invested on this fucking... On this fucking shit at this point, but yeah. Like, how much, well, how much ca- really are, are you going to sell your soul to say, you know, I had a boo-boo, something bad happened to me, please give me money. Well, Josh is like it is extraordinarily hypocritical for someone like Josh to to do the whole like boohoo woe is me thing because he it, like his whole yeah. site is about ruining people's lives. Yes. Well, I'm sorry, like uh, like Josh, do do you expect me to feel sorry for you? Like your site nope. literally contains on it like a thread full of like lies and misinformation about me, up to and including one where uh, what's the, what's the oh I I can't I can't remember whether I'm supposed to have drowned my child in the bathtub or, or in a pool or in a river and like whether he's Last next month. And so like is he is he supposed to be dead or brain damaged i i mean i, I guess you can't maintain the one that he's dead because he keeps coming on the every now and then he pops in front of the in front of the uh microphone <laughs> and uh and and chit- the chats during the, yeah so i mean i can't i, I can't figure out whether <laughs> he's meant to be dead or brain damaged or whether he drowned in a pool or a bathtub or Fuck. whatever the fuck the story is but uh your your site is there. Uh, it, obst- it it ostensibly has pictures of me and my real name and fucking stories about like uh, me drowning my son, either due to negligence or on purpose or because I was drunk. I can't fucking remember. Uh, did you expect me to feel sorry for you? Nope. Like oh, people don't take me seriously. Well, as someone who literally has like fucking slander 
fucking slander about my character on your site. I, 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 my, my heart bleeds buckets of fucking cold piss about you not being taken seriously, you fuckwit. <laughs> yeah, I tell you one Imagine thing, he doesn't, fo- he doesn't focus on Jews, because he know exactly wh- he'll get to shut, th- shut the fuck down if he focused mm. on Jews at all. Yeah, for for a guy who's just like I'm, I'm just not, I'm, you know, I'm just, a, I'm just a bold libertarian truth teller. I don't take sides. I'm like, it's funny, man, because like you seem to, you just seem to know to zig when it's time to zag on certain issues, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, here he is. Um, they tend to just, you yeah. know, for some reason, attack vulnerable targets that can't defend themselves. Hmm. By the way, no, no is basically like he, he like no is basically Peter Pan, right? Mm. Uh, like he's in, he's in his mid fucking thirties, possibly late thirties, and he's like just got Peter Pan syndrome, and and uh, this whole thing, like for all he whinges and bitches about it, but I guess that's a that's part of the performative work. This uh, this you know this side of his, which is you know dedicated to the ruining of other people's lives, uh, this side of his does enable like his lifestyle, where he just he just fucking swans around, going from hotel to hotel in Eastern Europe. So it's when he goes like, oh, I personally can't benefit from it. I don't know, man. I can't. I couldn't afford to have spent the last 10 years in fucking Budapest. Yeah. Budapest is like, you know, like they say it's like one of the more cheap, you know, Romania is one of the cheaper places in Eastern Europe. But still, I couldn't afford to like just fucking live in a hotel in Budapest for 10 fucking years. But don't benefit from it. My fucking foot. Benefit mm-hmm. you benefit from it pretty damn good, and when you've got a, you know, when you've reliably got a user base, you know, which you like literally tell lies to about me. Uh, if when you got a user base that can cough up six six million, oh, sorry, six million. <laughs> when you got a user base that can cough up six thousand that a, uh, at a at the drop of a hat. Hey guys, I, I need Nick Ricader's, uh arrest body cam footage. I need six grand, and there it is. Like in in, not even in like one day. Like during during one episode of mad at the internet mm. yeah like well, you, you can fucking step off my foot you can step off my fucking foot with the whole like i don't personally benefit from the thing that i've developed like get the fuck out of here don't personally benefit my ass i tell you one thing Rand. the instant he croaks the, the site is going up in flames and he'll have nothing Oh well, it's a it, like the whole thing is a is a personal project. If 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 Josh stopped uh, if Josh stopped keeping it up, it would just it would just disappear. Like who who's yeah. next? I mean, it's not like something awful where like uh, Richard Lotex blows his head off and then uh, and then Kevin Bowen like steps in to start running it. Like if 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 something happens to Noel, the site just dies. Yeah. Like who's the who's the who's the second who's who's waiting in the wings? Like n- nobody. Yeah. Noel doesn't have any fucking friends. <laughs> I just want to remind Noel that when to die, you'll have nothing. You have left behind nothing. Mm. So, That's very harsh. It's like that. What's that? Oh, I can only like sort of paraphrase that thing off uh, American Psycho. Was it like you? You can, you know, you can, you can shake my hand and feel warm flesh enveloping yours, and and you can think, you know, there's an idea of Patrick Bateman, but I am simply but not I there. I feel nothing. Yeah, I'm. I am simply just not there. And like that's that's Noel. He's just not there. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, oh, except the uh, other, the other problem know. with this analogy is that anyone would be shaking his fucking hand. Like, <laughs> I don't know this guy, all right, at all. Like, hmm. not even nobody like, does. Single, you know? <laughs> nobody yeah, does. Yeah, he in, has in, no in, one. In all, in, in all seriousness, all right, I, I have no idea who you're talking about. No, but I'm reading this. Joshua Murray, right, the I'm guy who runs this. Kiwi Farms. I, I will personally benefit. I will never profit from my work. I will never. Benefit from my mission, whatever the fuck that means. What um, mission? The only possible good fortune I am ever to receive is possibly living to see the day where my I like, like what even is my this? My God! Like, uh, are you tell me the only thing that like, keeps like, Josh Moon what waking the fuck up, even is that? The only thing that keeps Josh Moon going in the morning is the idea is like if I if I just keep struggling, I'll be able to spread. Cynical, liber- uh, cynical, p- ideology-free libertarianism just a little further. That's what keeps right. me going in the morning. I I gotta wake up. I gotta wake up and like, grind. Like this is, like, I, like, if I can just turn like, one more person on this planet into a cynical, into a cynical fucking libertarian. Like, oh man, oh, then like, my day will finally is, be fucking this, complete. This is the type of the guy. Are you drunk, the, Irishman? Me, or do you, are you just you, like this? The, the, 
this is the type of guy that you meet at a pub or a bar, right? You look mm. in the eyes, and have you been meeting people wouldn't even in a pub speak today? To you. <laughs> no, uh, he wouldn't even speak to you. He'd be too scared to speak. You know, he'd be like, like you know. It could be too, uh, too much anxiety to even talk to you. Oh no, I, I imagine Josh is a fucking Josh is a fucking wreck in person. Like, if you, it, like, I mean, here's a. I've, I've actually been sitting on this one. Uh, I've had this. Uh, apparently, pretty... this is from. Uh, this is funny. This is back when he had his Twitter four fucking days ago, and uh, you know he's riding high and being all fucking smug about people. Uh, it's the it's the, like that's that's Gator there. That's uh, that's Gator at the off Kai thing. It's, uh, just, just, Having just, fun, uh, live just, a life, actually interacting yeah. with people. Th yeah, this is this is this is Josh. Uh, this, this is jealous. No, oh, oh, he's jealous as fuck. Actually, we never got around to playing this, but uh, here's a uh, here's what Josh sounds like. You know, when he's like talking into his microphone in a hotel in Budapest. All right, I, All right. I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't going to talk about that because <laughs> I didn't want, I didn't want to get people in trouble. Okay. Um, yeah, can you imagine like fucking? Can you imagine like having an argument with this guy in real life? Like if he's actually across yeah, the table, he like he's actually fighter. across. Yeah, if I ever like like met Josh Moon, like I walk into a bar in Budapest, and Josh Moon is yeah. there, and I walk up to him and go, "Hey, about that thread, about that thread you got on me, where you like tell all these fucking lies about my kid and my wife." But if you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, chat, you know. Let's watch the video. So Gata's going to go up and try to seduce this anime babe. The anime babe is on the right hand corner. Uh, Gata has a plan. Gata right hand corner. Is the big oh, fat. Why are you talking? Shit? You never even talk uh, to him in your life, bitch. Yeah. Your dick doesn't work. He's got some nerve He's... talking shit. It also it also comes entirely I... out of left field because like uh, Gata has been extraordinarily nice to Josh over the years. Even, yeah, even, when I, even when I, even when I've like gone in and like, bad, I've, when we've had Gator, he doesn't deserve it. When we've had Gator on the show, yeah. and like worthy. I've been, I've been talking shit about uh, Joshua Moon, like, like it's like it's like when I talk shit about Nick Ricator or I talk shit yeah, about yeah, yeah. Flamenco, like you yeah, know, it's yeah. like Gator, Gator just goes quiet, Gator just goes quiet and waits for me to finish. She doesn't join in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tap -tap. Tap -tap, you know, I know. I like. I you start poking him like what? Then you say, "What do you think, Gator?" He's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you, know, uh, "You know, half a pound of this, quarter pound of another." You know, uh, yeah. and so, and I mean, so what, do you, I mean, what do you get? What do you get for being nice to Josh Moon? Oh, you get a nineteen-minute segment where where Joshua yeah. Moon, who is a self-admitted literal kissless virgin, calls yeah. you a kissless virgin. <laughs> For talking to a chick in real life. Yeah, for, in the real crime, life. for the crime of going outside and talking to women. Uh, with You know, two things Josh can't do. <laughs> he's got some nerve talking so shit gonna, broken dick. He's going to lisp for 20 minutes yeah. about how he's a gay child. But yeah, tw less than 24 hours after he cut this, after he cut this fucking 19 minute thing, like uh, trying to make fun of a guy who was like very nice to him. He loses his Twitter and he's having an emotional fucking breakdown. Okay, so right, that's me caught up, man. All right. Yeah, that's this is just what Josh Moon is like. He's just a he's just a vicious, unlikable little ferret. Autist, then, yeah. Oh, autistic, he's... not for not for. Uh... <laughs> There's no fucking. Doubt I mean, about his I mean, that, that sums it up, then, right? Eh? Also, uh, Josh Moon does not have any idealism. He's expressed. His greatest regret in life is not being able to do dox Jim yes. slash you know, Mr. Medicare. I, mean, so I, was I was thinking about that the, the other day, actually. I was reminded of that when I was looking at Josh's meltdown about losing his Twitter. Yeah. He was almost in tears. He was almost in tears mm -hmm. about, about that, uh, how he had the opportunity to actually face dox Jim Medica and the opportunity slipped through his fingers. So, um, did yeah. he really then? Well, no, he said that he's actually... he. So he used to hang out with that H bomber guy who's like an enormous fucking faggot now, and had trolls remorse. But yeah, they used to used to be this thing called Medica forums, which is where Jim takes the name from. And apparently, H bomber guy had shopped around. A, I don't know why he doesn't have it anymore. Uh, there, there was a there was a real actual like face dox of uh, of Jim Medica, uh, you know, internet aristocrat, and apparently Null had seen it, but didn't save it at the time and then it like vanished mm -hmm. and uh and Noel Noel was like I can't remember exactly what brought it up but he he was talking about it on mad on the internet 
And he was, sounded and like he was on the said, verge of tears about how he he knows what Josh looks like. He's seen the photo, but but he, he, he doesn't have it. Because I keep screeching about you and me. That's how I even know about I mean, it. He was screeching about like, you and I. Apparently he screeches about me in in this one because I I haven't even sat down and watched the full thing. I made it up to about four minutes here. Apparently at some point because Gator is talking to Kiki, who's that you know who's the Australian rabbit VTuber. And apparently I mentioned at some point because Kiki knows who I am, and uh, hmm. and apparently that sets that sets Josh off into like an eight minute tangent raving about me because like Josh for, for as we've established before for some fucking reason. Josh hates me about the, uh, mm. the the car door joke. He hates me more than he hates Keffels, which is fucking bizarre. He also denies that I ever actually did that, which just makes it even weirder. Because like, okay, so why do why have you hated me for for four years straight if it wasn't the car door joke? Like, well, <laughs> I'd really like Josh to explain exactly why he hates me if it wasn't me. Like, uh refusing to give him an interview and uh, and sending him the car door joke instead. And what not what says H Bomber guy was always a leftist faggot. Oh no 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 you gotta go all the way back to web 1.0, my dude. You have to go back significantly far. H Bomber guy was one of those like uh he was one of those like life ruination faggots. He, uh, he, he, you know, the thing where he'd like call up your mom and and say and say, hey, are you are you are you like uh are, are you like like Tim Tim Citizen's uh, mother? Yes. Well, ma'am, I hate to tell you this, but he was shoving dildos up his ass uh, on a on a on a website last night and like put photos of it on the internet, ma'am. Like he was one of those guys. Like one of those guys. Like uh, it wasn't even an ideology thing. You just like just being. A, just fucking hurt people for the sake of hurting people, and then he had uh, then he had trolls remorse, and now he's a big leftist faggot. But yeah, so <laughs> I mean, want to talk about moving from one giant piece of shit to another giant piece of shit, like uh, those sort of like uh, yeah, the sort of the life ruination people like should be put in prison really, and uh, yeah, and I, then you I turn into a giant is. leftist faggot to being. A, imagine going from having no morals to being a, a woke moral scold. That's that's H bomber guy. That's how you know them. Hmm. All right. Well, man, man, have I been prevaricating? All right, let's uh, let's actually read this thing out. It's because it's your fault. Pond's Pond's being Pond, and you're being Irish, and this is what yeah. we've got. With, what do you mean being uh, Irish? That you're is being, <laughs> you're being extreme. You're being like 120 percent Irish today. And, uh, and we, like, haven't, we haven't managed haven't to accomplish even, anything. Rand, 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 you haven't even said, how are you doing, mate? You haven't even said that. Yeah, I know, he didn't say how to be either. <laughs> Where are your manners? Right. Oh, I see, so, like, people, if you the rumble, notice that voice crack, that voice crack of, uh, of fucking uh, Josh there. Yeah, illustrate a voice crack lot. It is very funny how Josh's, <laughs> Josh's voice cracks at just the right exactly. fucking moment. Oh God, it's so good. He, the way you voice crack when you scream. Talking about to a it. woman. <laughs> he did the same thing when you're screeching about Jim. It was awesome. Well, yeah, because he was on the. He was, he was like so emotional about the gym thing. Like, Jim, I almost had you. I almost got to show the world your face. I was this close to face doxing you, Jim. <laughs> all, all, I wanna, like, all I want to do with my life is face dox you, Jim. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Jesus fucking Christ. Alrighty. Uh, okay. So my anger is from the realization that the pendulum will never swing so far that I personally can benefit from it. Well, I think we've already exhausted into the fucking ground. <laughs> what what fucking bullshit that the is! Pendulum. Like Noel literally gets to live the life that he lives. He gets to be a permanent tourist, just uh, just orbiting around Eastern Europe from his fucking site. So personally benefiting my fun. fucking ass. Yeah, it does sound fun. Like you know what? I would also. That I, does sound like good fun. I, I, would, would, I, I, I would like to do that. Have you seen Budapest? It looks fucking beautiful. Yeah, Budapest, yeah, so old pretty. school Uruk. That is the ancient city of Uruk. You know, Gilgamesh. Yeah. Come of, on. This is one of the great Let's go. This is one of the great cities, of, great and ancient cities of Europe. Well, it's yes. it's, it's one of the oldest cities mm. that is still standing in, in all of Europa, man. Like, like, fuck. If this fruit cannot, like, enjoy the fact, you know, <laughs> and reach for, you know it wants to reach for more, then... I mean, well, I have a feeling like uh, Noel's never been here because, like, this is a public 
pool. So like, you know, like the problem, the problem is in the word public. But uh, yeah, no, this looks oh, yeah, like yeah. A, this looks like you a know, pretty he'll, fucking he'll get, nice he'll get place. Out. Yeah, well, they pissed him much in the pool. You kicked out. Yeah, they they noticed that his penis doesn't work, and they'd ask him to leave. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I I have never personally prompted <laughs> that actually a from thing? my. Oh, you don't know. Well, I mean, I'll reiterate. Mm. I don't know anything well, about this yeah, so, cult you're talking about. Well, that's the thing. Like Irish people never know what's going on because they spend all their time talking. And exactly. None of the time I, don't, listening. I don't follow. Um, yeah, can't, I don't really you can't follow, listen um, when you're talking. Can you, Irish internet man? Internet so, see, see how he literally anyways. didn't hear what I said there, Pond? See, like, he literally failed to absorb what I said because he was literally doing no, the thing I that was, I was... I was, he was I was you were literally to, performing to, uh, the activity that I was describing. What did you I say, Ryan? I would call that um, internet lag. I was listening to Hyperborean, so I, I didn't hear a word uh, you said, Ryan. I think I think it was talking about... He was saying something about Kevin. The absolute right. irony of an Irishman calling himself Hyperborean. <laughs> Here, what are you absolute irony? Let's see your genetic test, mate. I'm closer to the Indo-Europeans than you. So I didn't even understand what that sentence. Did you make out any of that sentence? Was, was, that, say, was that in English? Was, did let's, you like start let's talking? Let's see your, you your talking genetic Welsh test. I'm shit? closer to the Indo-Europeans than you. Something about te testing Indo-Europeans. No, it, it, it sounds like it sounds like English, but it, it's not quite English, is it? <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. Anyway, Budapest looks lovely. So, uh, yeah, when Josh says, like, I've never profited from my Life Ruination website. I know, man. It'd be kind of neat to be able to, like, hang out at the fucking public baths. Like, you know, all, all this shit is free, by the way. Like, this is just here for the citizens. So you can just imagine what it's going to be like when they when they get their, their uh, you know, their crate of Somalian niggas. You can just imagine what this place is going to turn into when you get your, you know, when you get your, your, UN, your UN nigger relief aid fucking box. Mm. Yeah, no, that's great. All you guys stop fucking talking now. Right, you know, you relentlessly, relentlessly wouldn't talk before. No, this is definitely the time to shut I mean, I, up. I said, I said cheers. I was, I was taking a cheers, man. I needed not cheers with me. I felt, mm. I, I feel a sense of sadness coming upon me. Mm. All right, why is it... <sighs> Why are you posting pictures of people's faces in the chat, Shadow Broker? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> this is the guy he giving still hasn't Andrew cheers. Tate. This is the guy giving Andrew Tate tier dating slash life advice. Wait, is that Millennial right, Woes? Salute, then. Wait, he's not fat enough to be Millennial Woes. <laughs> All right, uh, okay. Anyway, anyway, that's anyway. Budapest is a really nice looking town. Yeah. So we've drawn that. Oh, there's another it shot. Is. There's another shot of the public bars. Man, that looks fucking great, man. My. God, look at that. That's Im beautiful. Imagine having a fucking culture. Yeah. This is neat. But, you know, you know, what, Imagine it, if you you know what it's missing, though? It's missing about 50,000, like, fucking shark-eyed niggers just standing there, like, giving the giving the dirty, the greasy eyeball to all the ladies in bikinis. That's what this, that's what oh, this place you, is really it. missing. Like, it, it's just, it's just not, it's not, it's not culturally melanated and enriched enough. No. It needs to be garbage everywhere, too. It's too fucking clean. <laughs> You can see the bottom of the fucking pool. Mm. Disgusting. I was going to say, like, the, the, fir the first Indian to ever go into the public pools in Budapest, and, like, there's this brown, like, as, you see, like, as soon as he submerges himself in the water, you just, like, see this b brown oil slick start to radiate out out from the from him into the pale blue water. <laughs> he submerges himself, <laughs> turns into the, uh, the lake from um, the Simpsons movie. Mm. Oh, that's Josh? That's Joshua Moon. I thought I thought he was fatter, and I'm not even joking. I thought, I thought no. Yeah, so this is oh, this might this has to be an old photo because Joshua Moon is like my right, God, he, what is that? That is Joshua Connor Moon, but he is older and fatter than well, this. So this is an they, this is an out, like twenty right this, here. This is an out of date photo. He is older and yeah. fatter. He looks what like happened? He's right here. What happened? Well, he he runs a. He, what happened was he ran a life ruination site and got the and and uh, never benefited from it. You know, while he sw while he swans around Budapest. That's what happened. Yeah. Like, this <laughs> this this photo looks like it comes from the crossroads of his life, where he would to choose who yeah, he like, was to become. Yeah, you you could choose like you know because yeah you know, he he looks at that stage like he could scrub up all right if he tried. You know, he, he yeah. could be anything. Yeah, you must you must choose like uh, be a giant fucking piece of weird weird incel piece of shit or relatively normal, and uh, we know which one he chose. 
What's, yep. this, what's this business? Oh, brand, you... brand misses content again. We're literally doing. We are. We are doing the content. Joshua Connor Moon, like you know, leader of the broke dick forums, is having a fucking meltdown. This is the content. Like, like how, how do you find yourself in Budapest doing this shit? Mm. Well, how how does he find himself in Budapest all alone? That's how he finds himself in Budapest. I mean, like, like that's 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 crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Hmm. Oh, some sort of weird uh, thing. He, room, I think he was fleeing. It. He was fleeing some sort of. Drunk. There was some. Yes, you are, annoyingly so. Uh, yeah, there was some sort of thing going on. There was a reason why I think he was avoiding a lawsuit or something. He left the United States and he just started like doing this sort of orbit of uh, Eastern Europe because there's this whole thing where like, like you. <clears throat> it, 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 He's technically a tourist, but and as a tourist, he can stay in a European country for like three months. But as soon as you cross a border into another one, it resets. So he was just doing this thing where he was oh, literally, so, yeah. yeah, he was literally just orbiting between uh, Romania and um, what's the other one? What's the one that's always fighting with Romania? Mm. Uh, <laughs> anyway, oh, anyway, he was just, yeah, he was just sort of orbiting between, um, he was just orbiting, past orbiting, the parcel. yeah, he was like well, past the Josh, um. The only problem with Josh is his parcel doesn't work. Um, it, That's <laughs> <a joyful>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is apparently a more recent one. There, there we go. We're, we're starting to. You, you can see how he's starting to turn into Cantbot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you, can, yeah, you can there see it how is. The, how the, how the, uh, Look how petty he is inside. Is, uh, yeah. My God, that is. Can we go back to the other one real quick? Jesus Christ. Yeah, you, like you see, there's definitely a progression oh, taking place here. That that is that is depression manifest. Oh. Yeah. Like seeing that, and what he was, mm. like, that is truly a crossroads to before. Mm. Photo. All right. That it, is what he what he. Oh. All right, Dragon Zero is complaining that I'm missing the real content about Nick Ricada because, of course, as as a as a high time time preference nigger. Uh, they are high time preference. Yeah, and. It, See, this, this is one of the things that drives me insane about these people, specifically people like Dragon Zero Pond, is like, mm. if I'm not talking about their their thing right now, then they, they get You're that, they get they up. start vibrating with that chihuahua energy. <laughs> <laughs> I get the same thing, that, to be honest. You know how I get my, uh, you know, covers like, that's mine, mm. I start shaking. He's yeah. He's coming to bait you around. Watch anyway, drunken Irishman. You know, adults are talking. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it's uh, it's. See, so now I've lost my train of thought because there's a drunk Irishman in the room. Yeah, I know, right? Australian blaming. Yeah. yeah. Well, like here's the thing, Dragon Zero. If this was the most important news to talk about today, surely someone would have sent it in with the super chat. Obviously, seeing as it hasn't been sent in with a super chat, it can't be as important as the stuff I'm I'm choosing to cover. True. Yeah. The logic of sound. I'd say put that in your pipe and smoke it, but like you'd have to go and purchase a pipe, and as we know, parting with money is not a thing that you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Was that too mean, Pond, or was that just mean enough? That was good. That was good. That uh, depends. Mm, just at the appropriate level of mean. All right, hmm. so it doesn't matter what I do, what I say, what I write, what I accomplish. Well, what have you accomplished? Who I inspire, dude? Dude, you've, <laughs> you you run you run a website where like the most awful like fucking basement dwelling chuds who who like try and vicariously live through other people's lives twenty four seven while they like collect disability. Like those are the people yeah. you're fucking inspiring. Literally. That, this Literally. is the audience you've gathered. Who I influence, etc. I personally will never benefit, says man living in Budapest. I will never profit from my work, says man who, like, literally is sustained by the his quote-unquote work. I will never benefit from my mission, says man on permanent vacation in Eastern Europe. What is Europe. his mission? Well, he doesn't have one. Like, that's the thing. It's like, what, what, what's like, the mission? That, that's, well, my, that's my the mission. Point in asking. Well, he, he tries to, he tries to do the, uh, he tries to do like the post hoc, uh, the post hoc, uh, wrapping myself in morality thing where he goes like, well, yeah. like there's been a couple of pedophiles who got arrested because of stuff that like was on our website. Um, uh, I said, it maybe sort of, uh, maybe you guys did highlight a couple of pedos, but. Let's be yeah. honest, if, if you fucking retards 
were able to gather information of, on them, it was just a matter of time before they were going to get arrested anyway. Exactly. Maybe you helped. Maybe you helped accelerate the arrest of a pedophile. Maybe debatable. What fucking mission? But but I mean, and Fuck. that was never that was never like the fucking mission statement of Kiwi Farms anyway. The mission statement of Kiwi Farms is that like we're we're basically like an online gossip rag. Yeah. Yeah. More like an saying, like, online what's that, what's that, agony. Um, you you would know because you know you're you're a subject of the English Crown, Irishman. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. What's that? What's what are those fucking tabloids that did nothing but like like did nothing but like write write about like the daily life of the of the royals? Fuck, I wouldn't know it, Kerr. But you know, oh fuck! You, you, but you know those sort of magazines, those fucking rags, celebrity rags. I mean, I mean, they, they had them. Hmm. What I can tell with the royals, yeah, so like, so like, what's the, one. okay. What's what's the mission statement of the paparazzi? Is to uh, you know brand circuses, you know. Uh. And, but like, <laughs> when, when you got like a you got like a fucking gossip uh, gossip column like fucking guy on his deathbed, and like like imagine him like turning to the wife and kid and go like, oh, the fulfillment of my life, I've uh, my my mission, my goals, my vision for the future, and like you you fucking wrote about how like uh, how Princess Diana wore the same dress twice. I know. I um. I caught the the Duchess of fucking Wales naked. Ooh. <laughs> like you know. Well, wasn't that the joke though? She put on a couple of pounds. They go. She really is the Duchess of Wales. <laughs> uh, yeah. And it was such a it was such a good line that literally all the fucking magazines ran that for like Ooh, six yeah. months. Yeah. All right. Uh. Okay. I uh, you. you Right, so this, is, this, is some, this is some fucking class A bullshit. Actually make money? No. Uh, yes, you have actually, Josh. Speak freely on whatever platform? No, no, you've spoken pretty fucking freely, Josh. Hold any position in any organization? No, you, you're self-employed, my friend. Be thanked by name by anyone who matters? No. Ooh, well, that's a bit of a jib-jab because lots of people have named you, Josh. Depends who what he means mm. that matters. Even when I can demonstrate beyond any benefit of a doubt that certain organisations like Cogent and Path are terrible, I can't even get the supposedly free speech orgs like Rumble to take it seriously. Well, maybe that's because you run a... Because you run a fucking paparazzi website, Josh. It's almost like, like this, is, this, is what you chose to, this is what you chose to be. It almost feels like they have deliberately picked the two worst ISPs to do business with so that when Schaefer invariably chimps out and cuts them <laughs> off, they can make a press volume, a press release, rumble at forefront of censorship, first company deplatformed by tier one internet backbone company, and then the boomers rally around. Josh, Josh is, Josh, you know, Josh is a fucking boomer. This, this is like, this is because he can't address, he will not acknowledge Jewish power. He has to go into retarded boomerisms to explain the world. Like, uh, like hey, Josh, yeah. Josh, I, I've, I, I've got an idea why Schaefer uses certain ISPs, Josh, and it, it's got nothing to do with your retarded boomer conspiracy theory. It's because of international Jewish power, my dude. Yep. All right. So, like that... Like that's how it's going to happen. They don't want to avoid problems. They don't want to listen to weirdos who've been there and done that. Yeah, well, yeah, Josh. People don't want to listen to you. It's, it's like it's like you've shredded your credibility. Mm. They want to capture that essence and convert it out to prop. This is a weird fucking tangent for him yeah, to go yeah, go yeah, on. What what does he mean by that? I essence? don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna get back to the good bit, the bit where he says nigger twelve times. All right, so Elon is very happy to let outright pedophiles on his platform as long as they don't attract enough negative attention. Yeah, why, why is that, No, Like, you're, the way you view the world doesn't explain why Elon does that. Mine does. He's yeah. happy to make token gestures and allow Nick Fuentes on because it makes him look like a freedom fighter. That's Once again, that's, that's not the shot, Josh. That's not nope. why. He's not willing to allow me on because I am not high profile enough. Nigga, you... You you lost you lost your you lost your Twitter the exact way I lost my Twitter uh, in the same day no less. I criticised I criticised a um, I criticised a Shabbos Goy that was being backed up by international Jewish power, and I lost my Twitter within five fucking minutes of them replying to me. You lost your Twitter because a a fucking troon. Uh, 
you replied to a troon talking about flying the trans flag over over the White House. You replied with, I would rather see the Nazi flag fly over the White House before I saw the trans flag fly over it. And then you, <laughs> it's a, you which, by the way, like, they're based. Based, actually, like, cool. I don't disapprove of what you said. It's just like, you're, you're fucking retarded as to why you think you got punished for it. Uh, yeah, look, what, what, based and real, I too would prefer to see the Nazi flag fly over the White House before I saw the Troon flag. But, uh, that's why you lost your fucking Twitter. That's why you lost your Twitter. You, you, mouth, you mouthed off to a Shabbos goy that is, like, literally and actively being backed up by international Jewish power on a social media platform, and you lost your Twitter. That's why you lost your Twitter. I lost my Twitter too, same day, same reason. In solidarity. I attract all of the wrong negative attention without making any point. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to agree with you on that, on that, Josh, but not for the same reason as you wrote it. Josh Moon says, I attract all the wrong negative attention without making any point. Yes, I agree. That's, I mean, that's part of the problem, Josh. Like, you're, you've, you've had the opportunity to make points and you routinely fail to. Who cares what happens to the Kiwi Farms guy? <laughs> He's not even on a political team. He doesn't vote. Oh, the, oh, oh. Is there any more oppressed animal than the libertarian? Truly, libertarians <laughs> are the most most oppressed. On the road. I am not depressed. I am angry. Uh, I think you're pretty, fuck, I think you're pretty fucking Watch depressed. Out. I think you're pretty fucking yeah. depressed, my dude. I am extremely ang angry and indigent that I am the world's... <laughs> well, that's, Ooh, a, that's an incredible wee. fucking sentence right there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, quote that. I think that's going to be used mm. in a uh, poetry book. I'm not drunk today. Yeah, and he's just acting like it. it. All right. That's right. Jo jo that's well, right, Shadowbreaker. Jo <laughs> Josh should just choose not to be depressed. That's right. I'm <laughs> going to drink then. If you're going to lie about me, I'll mm. speak the truth. And I'm not even sure why at this point I feel like I hold back continuously. Yet, yeah, oh, just, just uh, hold me back, <laughs> hold me back. I, I, I'm, I'm Joshua Connor Moon, and, and if I'm not being like actively held back, I might release a, a dangerous and wild opinion exactly. of my own. Uh, watch hold me out, back, world. nigga. Watch out, world. Hold me back, nigga. Josh, Josh Moon's coming forth with a fucking with a fucking brain brain product. Hold me back. If I said what I really wanted to say, I'd be naming names in a way that would probably I would probably get arrested. Yeah, sure, nigga. Oh, please do. Yeah, yeah. I wish, yeah, wish a nigga would. Like, fucking prove it. Like, you know, I doubt it. I fucking oh, doubt do. it, Josh. Please do, you faggot. I feel like I continually piss off everybody. Well, yeah, yes. because, like, you literally run a site where you, you tell lies about people's Seriously, kids. Nigga. Like, you put, up, you put up pictures of, like, people's families and lie about them. So did he? He actually put up photos of your family. Uh, photos, photos that they think are of my family. So they've, uh, well, oh, they've got well, a they've got a thread on me yeah, which yeah. has what they think is my name, what they think, are, what they think are photos of my family. <laughs> but and also, but but worse than that, like okay, so you know, like I say that's not me. Here's uh, here's a, here's yeah, a different yeah, example. I know what you're getting. Kiwi at. Farms. I know what you're Ki getting at. Kiwi Farms. Uh, literally was more than fucking happy to host the name address yeah. and all the photographs that ppp could dig up on dingo they made a whole fucking thread about dingo they tried to get him fired from fired from uh of course like the whole thing about dingo was he got fired from a job for expressing an opinion uh so he had to like go and find a new job <clears throat> and he, mo he just moved to a new place and uh along comes ppp like trying to do like a full ro life ruination on him they are more than happy to host all that fucking shit on that site it's still up there to this day all the shit uh like tons oh, of photos Jesus of helpless. dingo and his missus and he's like his young kids and and the the place he was living at the time and everything they could fucking dig up about it and there's josh moon going like oh people don't take me seriously like people don't like me uh i'm 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 persecuted for no fucking reason dude you tried to ruin like um, a young family you tried like you were more than happy to fucking host, like and this is just one fucking example my friend 
Mon my friend, that, that, my friend, is... fucking Dingo. Like you tried to, you tried to get him fired. Tried to, like you hosted everything there to let people, like, like fucking do this, do this, like fucking life ruination campaign on him. They wanted him dead or in prison or divorced. They wanted his kids taken away by child protective services. They wanted his wife to fucking what? divorce him out of despair. They wanted him rendered homeless. They, they anything they could fucking do to him. Anything like no, like no 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 goal too low, and you host that site, Josh. That's what your site is. So when you fucking talk about my mission and I, uh, you know, like oh woe is me because you know because because I'm a real I'm a real truth teller. No, what you fucking do at the end of the day is that shit. That's what you do. Wait. That's what Kiwi Farms is. A place, where, a place where you find out where Dingo lives and, like, make crank calls to his wife. What authority does some random cunt over the fucking internet have over you or someone else's family? Like, this is the type of thing that makes me see fucking red over than anything else. Yeah, I mean, but this is kids. And this is why I wanted to people do it. This is why I wanted to fucking with kids. this is why I wanted to fucking read this out because like there's Josh Moon getting on his fucking eye horse, talking himself up. Woe is me! Like I'm the I'm I'm the guy suffering suffering all the slings and arrows of the world. I'm I'm fucking Atlas with the globe astride my shoulders. No. You're a fucking cocksucker who tries to ruin people's lives so you can have your little nerd giggle yeah, about it, you fucking shitter. And when you say, oh, I never made money off life ruination. Dude, fucking mad at the internet. This Your fucking thing, like, rakes in, like, a thousands. You get to have it on fucking YouTube, and you make yeah, thousands of bored. dollars in Super Chats Marvelous. every fucking episode. And fucking talk to me about I've never made money, and I don't get to speak freely. Woe is me. Like, you're a fucking life ruination troll who makes thousands of fucking dollars off it, and you've been on a permanent Peter Pan fucking holiday in Eastern Europe. You fucking lying, disingenuous, you cocksucker piece of shit. You do, you do, you do not mess mess with families with kids. And That's balls. all they fucking you do. do. You do not. It would better for a millstone to be tied around their neck and cast into the sea. And it shouldn't. It, it, by the way, the mess with the little children. Let it not be lost on people that the sort of like vicious fucking gutter dwellers who who engage in this sort of behaviour on this site, which is facilitated by Joshua Moon, they they are universally to them like they, these aren't family men. These are these are like uh, faggots on personal dis uh, permanent disability uh, in a in a fucking basement just a logging other people twenty four seven, like they they rise and grind to try and find out where other people who have lives live. It, it's it's so fucking disgusting, to me, man. I, I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry to get angry on your show, like, but. It is absolutely I okay hear, for I, I everyone hear, to I, get I, angry I, at Joshua Connor Moon I, today. I, like this, this is this is like this is the one thing above anything else that 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 makes me see red is that people fucking around with kids, you know. Cause, cause I mean I know it's like a type of thing that's like you know you know um you because know, to do with families, but sure it's still a thing, it's still the same. You do you do not do that. You do not. I'll not say any more because that. That goes into uh, the lands of Redacted mm. and all that. Mm. But, um, fuck. You don't do that. You don't. Well, I didn't even tell you the cherry on top. Do you know you know what his little fig leaf excuse is for putting up shit about people's families and photos of their kids and their wives and their address and all that sort of shit? What's that? He, he has this thing where it's like, well, I will personally take down a thread if you ask me personally. Fruit. So he maintains this sort of thing like it's okay for me to have all this doxing stuff because because all you got to do is just like approach the throne and bend down to me and and ask me personally please Josh take down the thread and then I'll think about it. No wonder he's heading in Budapest. <laughs> And by the way, people it's have people easy. have actually pursued, uh, pursued that route. I can think of a couple of instances, um, and these weren't people from our circles. They were like uh, some sort of weird, weird queers on on yeah. fucking twin, twin. A couple of them did did ask uh, Josh, and Josh did temporarily take down their threads. But then they said something about him, and because he's a because he's a petty little teenage girl, he immediately put the thread back up. 
So you like, stay oh, away from families. Oh, so oh, someone, horror, horror, horror someone, horror someone had a negative opinion about me after I like had all this doxing information about them on my doxing site. Right, I'm putting that shit right back up. That'll teach you to that'll teach you to say disgusting. something negative about the guy ruining your life. <laughs> what an absolute cocksucker. Man, man, like I'm, I'm fucking saying red. Like you, you, you don't do that. You don't mm. do that. Yeah, so there's there's Joshua Moon and like as I as I said, as I said here, I would have a sliver of sympathy for Josh if he hadn't maintained a personal animus for me for four years. And yep, life has life has slammed his dick in the fucking car door once again and uh, well, I couldn't be happier about it. Well that now I fully understand the animosity. Mm. And like, by the way, I'm I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna have the, I'm not gonna have any of that sort of like moral equivalent stuff. But Rand, this is a bigger issue than Josh Moon. It's about free speech. Now fuck you. Joshua Moon should be in jail for the shit that he's done. Him 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 losing his Twitter account is like it's a good fucking start. <laughs> yeah, I mean I mean free speech, I mean come on, like that's a fucking joke anyway. That was too broad stroke of a statement, but I yeah. slammed my penis in the car door. You slam your penis in the car door. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we just need life to continue to slam his penis in the car door. In fact, I mean, like Budapest, uh, you know, Budapest needs to needs to slam his penis the fuck out of the city. Like the Josh Moon needs I mean, to be Josh Moon needs to be evicted from Romania, them. but then again, I mean, like they the Romanians can't fucking get rid of Andrew Tate, so I mean, <laughs> they can't get rid of Andrew Tate. Like uh, they're probably not getting rid of Josh Moon. Oh, but actually, the way things probably work, it's probably well, the more, Romanians it's probably, can't get rid of the gypsies. Yeah, it's probably more likely. It's probably Josh Connor Moon is probably more likely to get evicted from Romania before Andrew Tate does. The way things fucking go, but it would be very funny if he got blacklisted. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.